What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Out of the Basement. I'm Nate, joined with Steven. Howdy. And today we are bringing you our spoiler-free thoughts on the Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yay! Of course, we attended an early Fathom event screening, which they definitely let you know was a thing. That mm -hmm. little five-minute intro. Yeah. I was like, oh. Oh, well. it was longer than five minutes. Yeah, true. I only noticed the timer at the beginning when it was counting down at around five minutes. But they just let Kevin Smith do his little ramble. And I was like, oh, God, here we go. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the movie. Spoiler free, what did we think? I gotta be honest, I thought it was better than I expected. I would agree with that. I would say that I enjoyed the movie. Yeah. I had a good time. I would I would sign off on that. <laughs> so, what did you think? Um, well, I had very low to no expectations going into this. I would uh, agree. Having seen Yoga Hosers last, still I haven't seen Tusk. Tusk um, is worse than Yoga Hosers. So I've heard. And I, I enjoyed Yoga Hosers. I know it's not good. Yeah. we ha It's enjoyable. I, we, we had fun. And uh, so being a VUS Universe fanboy, like I am, uh, I was super excited that this, uh, you know, they were going to try to do Clerks 3. Then uh, Randall, the actor, the, uh, Jeff Anderson, said no. Because... He doesn't do acting anymore or something. So they had to scrap that, which suck. I would have much rather seen Clerks 3. Uh, but, and then they announced this. So I was like, okay, I'll keep my expectations low, but I'm still excited for it because we haven't seen the VS Universe characters since Clerks 2. Yeah. 2006. That's that crazy is, to me. That is very true. And, I mean, not that Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is a bad movie, but it is definitely like... It's like the the fart of the viewers universe. <laughs> like it's funny, but it's also just kind of like a whatever. Yeah. At least in my opinion. Like I'm very I have you know nostalgic feelings for Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, and I still love to watch it to this day. But I can recognize that it's it's kind of it's kind of not. Yeah, good. I mean it 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 is the stoner movie. Yeah. I mean they they're stoner icons, just like Cheech and Chung. And there's I feel like. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is the Viewers Universe movie with the least heart. There you go. I guess. I, I like Less that. Less heart, more fart. Now that would have been a great TM. tagline. <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. I don't want anyone to think that I'm like, I don't like Jay and Silent Bob I Strike Back. Because I love it. I, I mean, it's my, that's my three pack right there. Uh, so the movie itself, it is basically about uh, Jay and Silent Bob once again are finding out that there is a new reboot of Blunt Man and Chronic, and they have to go to Hollywood again to stop it. And while initially that idea sounded very uninteresting to me, and it definitely at some points in the movie I was kind of like, all right, are we just going to be repeating the same bits from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back or what? But thankfully there is plenty of new stuff, and I think some of the old bits sort of reworked a little bit. Definitely still worked for me. Uh, but overall, I would say that the movie, in terms of like a story or anything, is pretty much non-existent. I wish they would have focused more on the story because I liked it. I, yeah. I thought what they set up uh, for the new characters to do alongside of the old characters was very interesting. I liked it. Yeah. And again, it ties the old VS universe with uh, sort of sort of the new. And they could have taken that and actually like you know flesh that out a little bit and made jay and silent bob like have something more to say than just you know stoner humor fart humor that kind of stuff right and i feel like they did yeah they definitely did there's moments in this movie like i legitimately teared up yeah there's some there's some heavy moments yeah for sure so it's not to say that there's you know nothing to go on with the story but it definitely leaves a lot to be desired especially after all this time yeah, it, well, basically it's just um, the way the, the beats of the movie are set up is like, oh, who's this ca cameo going to be? Yeah. Oh, who's this can that's, that's... cameo going to be? And how that is going to hold up uh, during a rewatch, probably not very well. True. And that, I think, is the weakness of the movie. But at the same time, if you've seen the trailers, if you've seen the images Kevin Smith has posted online over time... If you didn't expect that coming in, then yeah. that's on you. 
<laughs> I mean, we were talking about it before the movie. I said there's going to be a bunch of random celebrity cameos from celebrities in general, which, ding. And then there's a bunch of View Askew Universe characters cameoed in the movie as well, which, ding. It's it's predictable. It's obvious. But at the same time, like, I was still having fun. And when a certain cameo would happen, I'd be like, oh, like, that's awesome. Yeah, I was just so happy to see these characters again because... I've watched the View of Universe movies when I was way too young. I didn't quite, obviously, I didn't understand a lot, mm-hmm. um, but I still, I still felt like attached to those characters for some reason. And that sounds really dumb, but then I've watched those movies over and over again. Like I've grown up with them till now, and I feel like those characters and those movies have always been a part of my life. You know, as as weird as that sounds, you know, Jay and Silent Bob movies, like, being so near and dear to my heart, but yeah. it's true. Uh, I mean, there's something about the View Askew universe. It feels, I mean, you know, the movies vary in quality, but there's always, you know, there's some decent heart in most of them. Definitely. And I think they're also, like, in a lot of ways, like, almost the characters feel pretty real. Yeah. They very... f- they're not, like, movie characters. They feel like like real people at least to me Mm. i don't know about you but yeah it was nice to see them again and i was thinking like oh it's been so long like is it gonna feel the same and i like the little updates they give like you know silent bob's got a phone now so he expresses how he feels in a in a pretty clever way but ultimately they end up doing that like a bunch and i was like okay i get it he's gonna do the thing and then the thing is gonna happen and they definitely do end up like repeating a lot of stuff in the movie oh yeah a lot of old bits like we were saying earlier. that's the weakness but it was to be expected yeah it seemed like some of the cameos like specifically a person from dogma it was just kind of like yeah it made no sense they just put it in the movie just to like sort of an ending same thing with another view askew movie chasing amy there's like there's more to that and then there's more to dogma in this movie obviously we can't confirm this but it almost seems like this is probably going to be the very last View Askew Universe that's movie. What it, that's what it felt like. It yeah. felt like it was kind of like saying goodbye. Yeah, so we got to get the gang back together as yeah. much as we can. Obviously, Jeff Anderson's not having it. There's a few other people that aren't there. Yeah, um, suspiciously absent. One really big cameo that I thought we were going to get to see, but ultimately it was not in the movie and we don't want to give anything away because i feel like in kevin smith movies like cameos are like the spoilers yeah really yeah so it's kind of how yoga hosers is too like, yeah. there's a lot of like random cameos where you're like oh. yeah so we don't want to give any i mean a lot of them have been given away but there's still i feel like there was some that i was like oh like pretty hilarious yeah so while the movie is definitely enjoyable and like we said the story is a little lackluster we still had a great time i think we were chuckling a lot yeah i was actually openly laughing yeah and there's definitely plenty of those moments i don't think if people that aren't familiar with kevin smith you won't get anything out of this movie yeah if you've it, never if you've never seen any of the other viewers universe movies this entire movie is going to be lost it's you. yeah it's going to make no sense like they call it jay and silent bob reboot and in a way it is but i would say overall this would be a horrible place to start because you have to imagine there's going to be people out there that see that it says reboot and they're going to be like oh perfect jumping on time or something and like the movie would make no sense if you even like if you're a casual kevin smith like oh i've seen you know clerks and i saw jay and silent bob i feel like even that is not enough knowledge to fully appreciate the movie yeah so yeah that's pretty much all we really have to say about the jay and silent bob reboot it's a fun time especially if you're a view askew universe fan uh you're definitely going to have plenty of enjoyment out of this movie how it will hold up upon second watch who knows but i guess we'll eventually find out once it hits home video I think I definitely would be interested in buying this movie on Blu-ray. Definitely. I think it's it's definitely it got me right here. Yeah. And I was like, Kevin Smith, you cheap bastard. <laughs> and Kevin Smith, uh, bless his heart, he always packs his 
home releases with a ton of special features like full length, multiple full length documentaries all kinds of stuff and he even says that in one of his special features I don't know if it's for Clerks 2 but he's like you know you're paying for this movie I want to give you your money your money's worth I don't want to just you know give you the yeah. movie so I appreciate that obviously we right. appreciate that we talk about special features all the damn time and alternate cuts yeah. to movies that's the bread and butter yeah so hopefully we get some good bonus features yeah for the uh, home video release. But again, the story leaves a lot to be desired from a View Esk Universe fan, point, fan standpoint and just sort of like a film making standpoint. Especially like Steven said, this definitely seems like the end of View Esk Universe or at least some characters. There's plenty of wrap up there, but I would say it is a good time and I would recommend you uh, check it out as soon as you can i i would completely agree with you and i will also say that i hope this is not the final view of universe movie i would i would agree i think we could we could mend the universes together yeah. i i would like to see him do another view of universe movie that doesn't have to heavily rely on the old ones yeah it's it's you know completely fine to have character overlap because they all do you know the same characters come back but i would like to see um you know something original done since they can't do clerks three maybe maybe do something with uh harley quinn yeah his yeah. kevin smith's daughter not the actual dc comics character i'm sure most True. of you know that yeah i hope it isn't the end because i still think that universe has a lot of potential it does it definitely does and i would love to see some more of some other characters uh like you know fully into it and the main characters of the movie not just jay and silent bob so yeah did you guys check out the jay and silent bob reboot let us know what you thought in the comments down below of course if you enjoyed our review don't forget to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new ring that bell for notifications we're always talking about movies blu-rays action figures so if any of that sounds interesting you're already in the right spot of course i'm nate i've been joined with steven Take care. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement.